Abstract classes are incomplete classes, and they cannot be used directly. It is more like a template to its derived class. Polymorphism is implemented by using abstract classes and methods. Abstract classes can contain only abstract methods, which is implemented by the derived classes. You cannot create instance of an abstract class to use its member functions. However, you can override the methods of the abstract class in the base class and provide a new functionality to it. There are certain rules to use the abstract class, and they are an instance of an abstract class cannot be created. An abstract method can be declared only inside an abstract class. An abstract class cannot be a sealed class as well. A class derived from an abstract class must override all the methods of the abstract class. If all methods of the abstract class are not implemented in the derived class, then the derived class must be a specified abstract as well. When a derived class inherits the abstract method from the abstract class, it must override the abstract method to provide it a new functionality. This is called dynamic polymorphism. The following code shows the use of abstract classes with abstract methods. The abstract method is declared by adding the abstract keyword to the method. An abstract method cannot contain a body while the override method, activity in this case, contains the method body depending on the derived classes they are present in. The abstract method activity is present in the abstract class age group. This class is inherited by two classes, child and adult. The method activity is overwritten based on the class it's present. Here in the child class, the method prints playtime, while the same method in the adult class prints nap time. In the main method, we have instantiated two objects, each for their respective classes. The next lines call the methods from each class. Let's execute the program. First, compile the code. The build succeeded. Now let's run the code. You can see that the first method call was to the child class, and hence playtime got printed, followed by nap time, which is the print line statement for the adult class. Thus, abstract classes and methods help in overriding methods depending on the requirements.